Here's what helped me reverse pre-diabetes. It starts by understanding how our bodies handle sugar. If we look at this blood sugar graph, we can see how different foods impact us. Eating something like white bread can cause a sharp rise in blood sugar, but if we eat wild rice, the graph may look more gradual, like this. And with lentils, the change may be even smaller, more stable. So, what we know is this. The blood sugar response varies depending on what we eat, but also how we eat. And the best part is, this is something that we can control. After we eat something, our blood sugar rises, and then our bodies work to restore blood sugar back to baseline. So, with this in mind, I see two major tactics that can help us. One, lower the rise in blood sugar, and that's the left side of the curve, and that's what we're gonna focus on in today's video. And two, improve how fast it returns to normal, the right side of the curve. Here's a first tactic. Eating vegetables and protein before carbs can slow how fast they break down, which then slows down how fast they enter the bloodstream. So why does this happen? When we eat spinach or high fiber vegetables before carbs, the fiber forms a gel-like mesh in our stomach, and this acts like a physical barrier, making it harder for carbs to break down and enter the bloodstream quickly. How about resistant starches? These starches resist digestion, and then they can bypass the breakdown process so they don't make it into the bloodstream. So the goal is pretty simple. It's to reduce how much and how quickly glucose enters the bloodstream, and this will reduce the slope of the graph. 